Hello friends, welcome to Cracked CSE. And in this series of database, today we are going to understand what is membership test. How we can find out whether the particular given functional dependency is member of a relation or not. So without wasting time, let's quickly start with the definition of what is membership test and how we conduct that. So to, un to understand the membership test, firstly we would have to consider that let x defines y is a functional dependency what is the meaning that x is determining y is the given functional de dependency that we need to check whether it belongs to a particular functional dependency set in a relation or not so this is logically implied in fd set r this functional de dependency logically implied in functional dependency set in a relation r if and only if what is the meaning of i double f it is if and only if the closure of x should determine y in functional dependency set r so r is any functional dependency set and x y to belong x implies y we need to check whether this functional dependency belongs to this particular set or not so if the closure of x if the closure of x is giving us y then we can commit that this functional dependency belongs to this particular relation otherwise it does not belong to that particular relation how let's understand this with help of this example so here i am having given functional dependency set so this is a functional dependency set of a relation of any relation their name is not given for this particular relation so we need to check whether a b implies e belongs to this particular set or not how we can find out for that we need to find out the closure of a b so let's find out the closure of a b closure of a b will be a b it is trivial c using b and c we can get d so i am writing d and using d i can get e so here you can see that the ab closure is giving us e that means ab belongs to is a member of this ft set that means this one is a member of this ft set now similarly i can find out the second one whether a b f implies d is a member of the set or not so now what we have to do i have to find out the closure of a b f so it will be a b f these are the trivial one using a b i can get c using b c i can get d and using d i can get e here also you can see that a b f is giving us d we are able to find out d in the a b f closure that means a b f belongs to d is a member of this functional dependency set so this one is also member of this particular functional dependency set now we have to find out whether b c implies a is a set of is a member of this functional dependency set or not for that what we have to do we have to find out bc closure bc closure will be nothing but bc because it always defines itself so it is a trivial one bc defines d d defines e and now you can see that bc does not define a we are not able to find this a on the attribute closure so what we can say that this is not a part of this functional dependency set so these are the these are the kind of questions that can be asked although there it is not very important because it is very simple all you need to have a good idea of attribute closure that how we can find out the attribute closure with respect to the functional dependencies given so but it's better to practice this kind of question because it might come in one mark so it's better to under, understand this in the next video we will be understanding what is equality of functional dependency set and we will be practicing around two or three questions on same. So thank you for watching. Keep supporting. Keep learning. Have a great day ahead.